one of the most important transits of this year is going to be Jupiter transiting to the zodiac of Taurus. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Hello everybody, I'm Tina Chaudhry. Welcome to my channel and a very warm namaste. Aham Brahmasmi. Before I begin, I'm requesting that you watch the introduction section where I provide you some details on the transit rather than jumping to the prediction section. The introduction of the transit section has a lot of information that is related to the predictions and it's better if you watched it in the sequence. Now Jupiter will transit into the next zodiac of Taurus on May 1st and it will stay there until May 14, 2025. So it stays in Taurus for about one year. On April 16th, it will transit to the nakshatra of Kritika, that is ruled by the sun, and stay there until 12th uh, of June. And after that, it goes into the nakshatra of Rohini. Uh, during this one year, it will be direct and it will also turns retrograde from October to February, but it will always stay in Taurus the entire time. It won't go back to Aries. Now, Jupiter in transit always uh, stays in each zodiac sign for one year, approximately one year. And so it has been in Aries for the past one year or so, and now it transits to the next zodiac of Taurus, as I mentioned previously. Now, Jupiter is one of the most uh, important planets due to the fact that it represents the Jeev, meaning the life force within us. It signifies breathing or the breath that we take, hence it signifies the living being. Jupiter is considered the most benefic planet in astrology due to the fact that it signifies growth, expansion, wisdom, and good fortune. It symbolizes a knowledge, spirituality, and higher learning, and its positive influence can bring financial success and happiness in a person's life. The transit of Jupiter is quite important because it influences the significant um, events in our lives such as marriage, childbirth, happiness, and harmony in our relationships. However, at the same time, the placement of Jupiter, its aspect, and its a conjunction with other planets are also very important to determine if Jupiter is well-placed or in a challenged position in an individual's birth chart. Because if Jupiter is not well placed in uh, somebody's birth chart, it can also give quite negative or challenging results. This doesn't always give you benefic results. It depends on the placement sometimes. Now, Jupiter has been blessed with three aspects. Aspect in astrology means the ability to influence. Now, most planets have the ability to influence or aspect only one zodiac, which is the um, one exactly opposite to it. But Jupiter aspects the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth house from itself. Mars and Saturn are the only other two planets that have multiple aspects. The fifth and the seventh aspect of Jupiter is benefic, always very benefic. But the seventh aspect is a little tricky because it's based on other planetary positions in the birth chart and all other conditions in the birth chart. So from Taurus, Jupiter will aspect the zodiacs of Virgo, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Now just be aware that Virgo already has Ketu or South Node in it. So Jupiter will activate Ketu via its fifth aspect. Also Saturn has been aspecting a Scorpio. So now Scorpio will have the double aspect of Jupiter and Saturn. So if anyone has any planets in Scorpio, be certain that they will be activated by both Jupiter and Saturn at this time. Also, people that have planets in Virgo and Capricorn, those planets get activated now as well, but it also depends on the dashas or the antar dashas that you're undergoing. Now, the best news that I can give you at this time is that when Jupiter was in Aries, it was being aspected by Saturn, and hence Jupiter was a little unable to give its most benefic influences uh, because of the fact that Saturn is malefic in nature. So it was kind of impacting Jupiter's uh, benefic influence on us. So it was kind of delaying the benefic influences, sometimes wasn't giving them at all. But now that Jupiter is moving into Taurus, nobody can stop it from giving its benefic influences on us. So that's good news for us because now Jupiter will be able to give, you know, its good influence on us because it no longer has the aspect of Saturn on it once it moves into the zodiac of Taurus. So that's the very good news that we have when Jupiter makes its transit into Taurus. 
So what could be the impact of Jupiter going into Taurus? How does it affect us? Well, Taurus is ruled by Venus and it's the second zodiac uh, sign. So Taurus represents family, finance, uh, savings, our speech pattern, us being very inflexible and also represents the food that we eat. So this transit is advising us to use wisdom in matters of family relationships, to watch our words carefully and not make hurtful, critical or sarcastic comments to others. Also, we should eat a very healthy diet and take care of our health. Now, generally, Jupiter in Taurus brings a blend of expansion and stability in our lives. So it's good for financial growth. So during this transit phase, most of us will be focused on financial growth, like I said, and appreciation uh, and acquiring the finer things in life. And also build, building long-lasting, harmonious relationships, not just personal ones, but also at a, in the professional world. Now, this phase may make us become more caring and supportive of others. And Taurus being a very fixed sign, we may become very resistant to change and cling to our fam uh, the familiar and comfort zones. Although if we do make the mistake to do that, which has become inflexible, we may lose out on the opportunity for personal growth. So don't to become flexible as much as you can. Overall, Jupiter in Taurus combines the expansive energy of Jupiter and the practical nature of Taurus, resulting in opportunities for growth, stability, material abundance, and overall happiness in life. I will now make predictions for each rising sign. Remember, my predictions are based on Vedic astrology and they are based on your rising sign and also called ascendant or lagna. Also, these are general predictions and the actual result is always dependent on your personal birth chart. Also, this is a reminder that you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Please do subscribe. I'm, my next video is going to be based on the predictions for the month of May. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And for all of you wonderful people that have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. And this video is so important because it has so much good news. Make sure to share it with friends and family. Prediction for Aries. Aries, Jupiter is going to transit in your second house. And from there, it's going to aspect your sixth house, your eighth house, and your tenth house. For Aries, Jupiter rules your twelfth house. And the twelfth house denotes expenses, losses, but also spirituality. And also rules your ninth house. And that represents your dharma, your luck, religion, gurus and teachers, and also your father. This phase is positive in terms of career growth and success. You may also get good opportunities for growth and advancement. There could be a rise in status as well for you. Just make sure to keep your ego in control and resist the urge to tell others what to do in the workplace unless you are asked for advice. This transit for you is favorable in terms of financial wealth and gains. There could be an increase in growing your savings. However, just be aware that Rahu is in your 12th house of expenses, so the tendency to spend a lot of money may still exist. So you must become very conscious of this and resist the urge to overspend. Luck is on your side, so take the necessary actions to increase your earnings and add to your savings and curb the tendency to spend a lot. Also, there can be harmony in your family relationships. For the single Aries, the possibility of finding a love interest is very possible. For lots of Aries, you may get married this during this transit if that's what you choose to do. That's a very good possibility. In fact, if Aries is interested in growing their family by having a baby, then this time is very favorable for that as well. Basically, what I'm saying is that there can be growth and expansion within the family dynamics. Definitely, however, your family size increases is definitely possible, whether it's through marriage or growing your family via new additions through a baby. Your speech and communication could also become rather mature and you would find yourself giving very wise and helpful advice to family members at this time. You're going to feel that you're going to get a lot of respect from your family members as well. This is a time when it will be quite easy to get loans or debts and you may also be very tempted to get them due to your desire to make large purchases. Now my guidance is to think carefully before you do that to check if you really need those large debts and loans or not. 
adversely any previous loans or debts that you have, there is a very good chance of getting them paid off now. Now, this transit, of course, offers an excellent chance of beating any competition or winning any competitive tasks if that's what you take part in. Of course, you should prepare for them as well. This is also favorable in terms of health, especially if you were experiencing any health issues previously, then you may recover via getting me uh, better medical advice or change in uh, medical care. And last but most important, you may be very attracted towards religion and spirituality during this time. In fact, if you do, it would be rather beneficial for you to follow some spiritual um, actions such as yoga, meditation, or even learning about your religion. My other guidance is that manage your relationship with your father, your coaches, and your teachers well. Don't let your ego cause any disturbance in these relationships. Prediction for Taurus. Taurus Jupiter will transit in your own ascendant house and it will aspect your 5th, 7th and the ninth house from that. For you, Jupiter rules the 8th house and the 11th house. Now the 8th house is of sudden changes but it also represents transformation of a personality. And the 11th house represents financial gains, wishes and desires and your social network. This transit will practically cause you to have a complete personality change. Jupiter in the Ascendant House makes an individual very wise, mature and thoughtful. Also, there could be a sense of happiness and calm that you feel. On the physical side, some Taurus may actually start to experience some weight gain as well. So be prepared for many changes in yourself, mental, emotional and physical as well. In fact, some of Taurus may even have a preference for the yellow color, which Jupiter represents yellow. Now, there is a very favorable influence on your finances and your focus is primarily on not just increasing your income, but also on financial planning and how to get the best investment plan and increase your savings for financial stability in the future. You are going to acquire a lot of wisdom and education and find that others give you lots of respect and even approach you for advice and guidance. If single this one year phase, some Taurus could find a partner and um, many Taurus would even get engaged or married. This uh, Jupiter placement is very, very um, potent for those kind of events for Taurus to happen, which is either get married or engaged. And this is even very good time to try for a new baby for those Taurus that are interested in adding to their family. Now some Taurus will travel for either spiritual or religious reasons and some could also travel for educational purposes as well. And if you do get the opportunity to travel for any of these reasons, there could be a lot of long term benefits. So by all means, go for that travel and you could actually get a lot of happiness if you travel for religious or spiritual reasons. For students, this is the most beneficial time. They will perform really well in their education and those wishing to pursue higher education, it's definitely a very positive time for that as well. This is also a time when you grow your social and professional network and meet lots of new people that will become good friends and contacts for a very long time. So definitely try your best to go out and meet new people and grow your contacts. Taurus, this is a, a time when you could have a very impactful influence on others. So my guidance is don't be overconfident and don't take the attitude that you know everything and then not listen to others or to try to learn from others. Be willing and open to learning from others. Listen to what other people have to say and be have a very open mind and learn from them. The more you learn and educate yourself during this transit, the more it will be of benefit uh, to you in the long run. Prediction for Gemini. Gemini, Jupiter transits in your 12th house and it will aspect your 4th, 6th and 8th house. For Gemini, Jupiter rules the 7th and the 10th house. The 7th house is a house of partnerships, marriage and business and the 10th house is the house of career. So the focus is now on career, business and material desires. Several Geminis may relocate during this year and this includes moving to a distant place or a foreign country as well. This transit also indicates the purchase of real estate for several Geminis or even just investing in real estate. 
This is a time when Gemini wants a change in job or profession, and it could be as a result of that that they may have to relocate. The reload could also be a result of your spouse's change of job. Those individuals that are working in fields that involve foreign companies or countries like export-import, this is an exceptionally beneficial time for you. In fact, some Geminis may be very tempted to start their own business because the desire to do investments will be very high. During this time, the expenses could be quite high and these expenses could be on traveling, health reasons, religious reasons, and also for investment reasons. In fact, some Geminis, like I mentioned previously, could purchase real estate and some Geminis may actually also purchase vehicles during this time. This transitory phase of Jupiter will encourage Gemini to become more spiritual. And in fact, some of you may even acquire a spiritual guru so you can learn about religion and spirituality. Some Ju Geminis may make changes in their bedrooms also and could incorporate some religious or spiritual items such as pictures, books, or any other religious spiritual items that they may now feel connected to. Gemini, you should try your best to stay away from conflict of any kind and maintain harmonious relationship with everyone else. Gemini has had a lack of mental peace related to their domestic environment and may have had worries related to matters of their home or any real estate matters due to the presence of Ketu in the fourth house but now they may feel better and uh, less stress. There is also a good possibility of domestic harmony and satisfaction. Gemini also needs to take good care of their health. There can be sudden health issues that come up. In fact, they may be hidden uh, from you for a long time. So it's a good idea to get a general checkup. And if you do experience any health issues, make sure you get it checked up immediately. I do not mean to scare you, but I do mean something small. So make sure you're staying in good health, eat healthy, and make sure you have a very good physical um, exercise regimen. It could be light yoga, or it could mean strenuous enough that you're doing uh, going to the gym. But definitely don't mean to scare you, but just kind of stay on top of your health. Now I know I've said that this is going to be an expensive time and your expenses will be high, but by the time this um, phase is over, you will have learned how not only to invest uh, well, but also how to grow your savings because the focus of this transit is to teach you how to invest as well as grow your savings at the same time. Prediction for Cancer. Cancer, Jupiter transits in your 11th house and it aspects your 2nd, 5th and 7th houses. And for Cancer, Ascendant Jupiter is the ruler of your 6th and the 9th houses. The 6th house represents health, um, loans and debts, a competition. Um, and the 9th house represents destiny, good luck and your faith and your spirituality. So here you go, Cancer. Your lucky time starts now. If you were experiencing any kind of dispute, Previously, they could get resolved now and it could get resolved in an amicable manner and also in your favor. If uh, you had any health issues previously, you feel healed and there could be good recovery. This is a phase that could be most positive for your income and career. Some cancers will uh, see an increase in their income and um, along with an increase in status as well, especially if they had been waiting for it for a long time or it had been delayed for a long time, then there could be a promotion in your job as well. So for those cancers that have been waiting for some sort of increase or a job promotion, this is a phase where this can happen now. If you're looking for a job, this is a very favorable time to get a new job that is well paying as well. This is a phase that's very beneficial from a financial perspective. Now, some cancers can get married during this time as well. So it's a very positive time for that. If you were in a relationship and you were wondering where you're gonna get uh, married, this is a time for that as well. This phase also earns you a lot of respect from all your friends and coworkers. You could be viewed as a wise person. And in fact, people may even start approaching you for advice or you may be assigned in some sort of a training role or training capacity in your uh, job position as well. Those cancers that are employed or associated in the fields of healthcare, financial planning, investments, 
education, spirituality, or religion will do exceptionally well during this time. They could earn a lot of money also. It's going to be a very financially positive time for them. If you are a student, this phase is most favorable in terms of performance. And also, if you're going to be taking any competitive tests, it's a very positive time for that as well. Your uh, relationship with your older siblings is going to be very good. And in fact, you may enjoy their respect as well. They may even come to you for advice, even though they're older siblings. This is a time when your spouse's health is good and they can enjoy happiness in their life as well. Because this um, transit is of mostly favoring your income and your financial situation, Cancer should be able to increase their savings. In fact, that's going to be their focus to increase their savings and they'll be able to do it very well during this year. Overall, a very, very positive transit for Cancer and this is long overdue because they have suffered due to the Saturn transit for them. So this here comes a break for Cancer. Enjoy. Prediction for Leo. Leo, this Jupiter transit is going to be in your 10th house and it's going to aspect your 6th, 4th and 2nd houses. For Leo, Jupiter is the ruler of your 5th and the 8th house. Now the 5th house rules children, love, life, education, creativity and the ability to do speculations and um, all the fun things in our life. Now the 8th house carries uh, the uh, energy of transformation and also indicates sudden events. This transit of one year focuses on your career and profession. Many Leos may change their jobs during this time period. In fact, some Leos may suddenly lose their job or may make sudden changes to their job as well. But there's also excellent chances of getting another job pretty quickly as well. So there should be no worries at all. Leos have been very stressed for some time because of the fact that Rahu is in the eighth house. So they may be stress related to various factors, but at this time, they shouldn't worry about their jobs, even if they feel that there's some insecurity related to their career and profession because the chance of getting another job are extremely high at this time due to Jupiter being now transiting in their house of career. Now, there can be very good financial gains during this time as well. This is a time when you get a very mature approach towards your career and job. You acquire wisdom on how to manage your relationships with your coworkers and also how to best manage the work-life balance. You will balance all your responsibilities rather well, taking care of the home as well as your career matters. Regardless of what changes you make in your career and whether they're sudden or unplanned, you will make good decisions, wise decisions related to your career. And also those changes that you make will be ultimately very beneficial for you. Some Leos may spend a lot of positive time with their extended family or families. And especially if they were experiencing any disputes within family relationships, then there's this chance to get those disputes resolved amicably and to everyone's satisfaction. And that could be due to your positive speech. Your speech and communication during this transit may become rather wise and you may be able to offer very good sensible advice to your family members. So you will enjoy very good respect from your extended family uh, members as well. In fact, there can be some celebration or even auspicious events uh, celebrated in your home. Some Leos may do some redecorating in their homes to incorporate religion or spirituality, such as images, pictures, or you know um, any kind of other images related to a religion and spirituality that they might want to display in their homes or they might want to buy and you know bring it into their homes. There can be a significant improvement in your health, but most importantly, Leos can feel mentally at peace and they can also experience a lot of domestic happiness during this one year transit. Prediction for Virgo. Virgo, Jupiter transits in your ninth house and it will aspect your fifth, third and the first house. For Virgo, Jupiter is the ruler of your seventh house of marriage and partnerships as well as the fourth house of domestic harmony, mental peace, and real estate matters. 
Jupiter gives excellent results in the ninth house. In fact, it probably gives the best results in the ninth house. So the ninth house signifies good luck along with your dharma, religion, and spirituality. So this can be considered a very lucky time for Virgo, which is a major change from Jupiter's previous one-year transit that caused significant types of stress to Virgos. This is lucky in terms of prosperity in financial gains. In fact, your father could also experience luck in financial matters. Your personality undergoes a change when you are happier and also start feeling a sense of calm and more importantly, feel respected by others. You have more wisdom and now you feel more stable. Both the travel houses are getting activated, so primarily this transit focuses on travel, specifically traveling for and to religious places, as well as foreign travel for religious and spiritual reasons as well. Now this also focuses on the short-term travels as well, so this one year, Virgo, be prepared for a lot of good travel. This transit indicates a very pleasant um, phase in your marriage and uh, all partnerships as well. In fact, your spouse could also go through a very, very positive or lucky phase in their career as well. Single Virgos, this is an excellent time. There's a chance of you getting married if that's what you want to do. And those Virgos that are looking to start a family, this is also a very positive time when you can add to your family and there could be a little baby in the family as well. Single Virgos looking for a partner, the fifth house of love life is getting aspected. So be out and about and the chance of finding that special someone in your life is quite possible at this time as well. Virgos that are involved are associated in the fields of education, teaching, coaching, um, religion, um, sports, social media, or artists um, will do really well. They will do exceptionally well at this time. And students that are wishing to go abroad for or go to foreign country for higher education, this is a very favorable time for that as well. So you can uh, definitely try to do that. But the primary energy of this transit is to the spirituality and the dharma. And so you're going to be very attracted towards spirituality and religion. And in fact, you may want to gain more knowledge about it. So you could start looking for a guru or some people may want to start reading books about it and have a lot of curiosity about it. Um, or you may even try to learn it through other means, you know, looking on YouTube, social media or whatever. So my guidance is you stay close to your divine, definitely pursue some spirituality, stay close to, I mean, to your faith. And that's what's actually going to activate this whole good luck factor into your life during this transit. Prediction for Libra. Libra, Jupiter transits in your eighth house and it aspects your fourth, second and your twelfth house. For Libra, Jupiter is the ruler of the sixth house, which rules your health, uh, debts and loans, competition, and also your second house, which rules your finances, family, the food that you eat, and your speech. Now, this transit phase denotes a complete 180 degree transformation for Libra. The transformation relates to your mindset, your approach to life, your handling of finances, and the value you place on family and relationships. Libra may be a little obsessed about how to handle financial matters, meaning that they may start researching about stocks, speculation, how and where to invest so they can increase their financial gains. They may also have high expenses, but these could be investments as well as home-related expenses um, related to home improvements. Libra will now start focusing on their health and may make lots of changes in their lifestyle related to health matters. There can be a complete change of diet and food habits because the focus is on good health. Those Libras that are prone to Jupiter-related diseases such as diabetes, asthma, thyroid, etc. should stay away from sugary sweet foods, although they may, be, may have a very increased desire for these kind of foods at this time as well. Lots of Libras will be attracted to spirituality and their intuition will be at its peak. They may even get some dreams that guide them towards spirituality or some dreams that kind of change their mindset and get them to think about certain things. So pay attention to any special dreams that you get during this time and if they're sending you some kind of message of what you should do or the path you need to follow. This is a time when you, you may get these special dreams that you need to pay attention to. Your approach to family relationship changes and you 
handle people with a high level of maturity and gain the love and respect of your extended family members as well. Your speech and communication would become calmer and more wise, less sarcastic and critical. Overall, you experience domestic happiness and mental peace. Some Libras may purchase real estate or an automobile during this transit as well. There is chance for sudden financial gains such as inheritance and insurance, especially if you have been waiting for settlement of those kind of things that can now settle. Those Libras that are getting very attracted towards speculative type of activities need to exercise a lot of caution in that regard because the houses of loss are active at this time. So exercise great caution if you do um, get involved in speculative activity. Prediction for Scorpio. Scorpio, Jupiter transits in your 7th house and aspects your 3rd, 11th and your own ascendant house, meaning the 1st house. For Scorpio, Jupiter is the ruler of your 2nd house and that house is uh, representing finance family and also the food that you eat and your communication and speech and the 5th house that represents love life, education and your children. Now this transit brings focus to your partnerships like marriage as well as any other business partnerships that you have. You gain wisdom about the nature of your relationship and your spouse and you may make some wise choices. If you were not so happy in your marital relationship, you may actually take the step to break away from it or disengage from your partner. For those individuals that have any malefic influences on your seventh house in your birth chart, then there can be separation from your partner as well. Now, conversely, for the single Scorpios, the chance of marriage are very possible at this time. If there is separation, then the chance of another person entering your life is high and that person could have the qualities of wisdom and purity about them. So Jupiter in the seventh house is a little tricky to predict and it all depends on the planetary placement of other planets as well as what other planets are influencing your seventh house. It can be extremely good for you or it can be um, a little bit challenging for you as well. You will enjoy a lot of respect from others and in your workplace you may find that a lot of people are approaching you for guidance and advice. In fact, you may also be assigned in a position of coaching or guidance in your current position in the workplace. Financially, it's an exceptional time for you and you may or could enjoy good financial rewards. Some of you may be tempted to get into business for yourself at this time or you may be offered new opportunities during this time. It's a good time to get into a new business partnership if that's what you are interested in. You will have lots of energy to initiate or start new things and you will also make very wise decisions as well. This is an excellent time if you do want to get into a business, but if you are employed and you work for someone else, then also this is a very positive time as far as financial gains, recognition and promotions is concerned. Your own personality undergoes a very positive transformation and others are very impressed by your mature way of thinking and handling matters and your wisdom. Your social network grows due to the positive impression you make on others. Your relationship with siblings improves a lot, especially if you were having difficulty in those relationships, then you're able to resolve all your differences very amicably and uh, to everybody's satisfaction and your relationships improve. And one last thing, you do need to take care of your health. There will be a tendency to gain weight, especially due to your eating habits. You may be tempted to eat sweet, sugary and um, fatty foods. And so you need to be aware of that. Stay away from that. Otherwise, you could have some Jupiter related health issues like diabetes or um, asthma, thyroid related issues, especially if you're prone to that. You really need to take very good care of, the, of your diet and the foods you eat. Prediction for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Jupiter transits to your 6th house and its aspect will be on the 2nd, 10th and the 12th house. For Sagittarius, Jupiter is your ascendant ruler and it also rules your 4th house. The 4th house rules your mental peace, your uh, domestic bliss and your thought process. The ascendant rules your physical body and your way of thinking. During this time, you may have an increase in workload and responsibilities in your workplace. Now that's up to you how you approach it. 
my suggestion is to accept it with a very positive mindset. If you do that, there can be very good rewards and recognition for you. If you begin to resent it and complain about that, then the benefic impact of Jupiter may be lost and in fact it could impact you in other challenging uh, ways. But this can be quite dependent on your own birth chart as well. Now, there may be some issues of hidden enemies or people talking behind your back in the workplace, or they may even try to hurt your image, but you need to handle that with a very positive attitude. Ignore them and continue to work hard. Don't get into an active conflict with them. Some Sagittarius may even have a change in their living conditions or relocation. This could be related to their spouse's career or family situation. There could even be some real estate purchases for Sagittarius. In fact, if there had been any obstacles or delays in uh, handling these real estate matters in the past, those get resolved now. And if there were any kinds of disputes you were involved in, including any legal matters, those also have an excellent chance of a favorable resolution for you. Also, this is not a good time to get into any new conflicts with anyone at all. It could escalate very fast and get out of hand. You need to take very good care of your health and, uh, and your diet. Jupiter-related health issues can surface, such as diabetes, respiratory issues, thyroid problems, digestive problems, etc. If you're prone to these diseases, you know, they can resurface. Everybody is obviously not going to get these. Just make sure you eat healthy and have a regular physical exercise regimen. As long as you do these two things, your health should be taken care of. Also, my guidance to you is to manage your stress. You may be getting too picky and overly critical of others, and this can cause tension for you and kind of ruin your mental peace. Some Sagittarians may actually go get a new pet or have to take care of a sick pet during this time and um, may have worries related to that. Overall, for Sagittarius, the best impact is going to be on your career. As long as you work hard and with a great attitude, you will be rewarded well. Just don't let others bother you and don't let anybody ruin your attitude or your approach to your work. Keep your head down, work hard. There are very good rewards waiting for you. Prediction for Capricorn. Capricorn. For you, Jupiter will transit to the fifth house and its aspect will be on the first, eleventh, and ninth houses. For you, Jupiter is the ruler of your third house of communication, siblings, self-effort, initiatives, and it also rules the twelfth house of expenses and spirituality. Now, the fifth house denotes some of the best and most significant things in our life, such as love life, children, education, creativity, speculative activities, hobbies, and all the leisure activities. For Capricorn, Jupiter also rules the third house of self-effort. So now Capricorn will have to put in uh, some effort in order to receive all the good or benefic results from Jupiter's transit. If you are interested in finding a love partner, you can try hard. If you or if you want to try for an addition in your family, meaning having a baby, then there could be some more concentrated effort that you may uh, have to put in. So that's basically what I'm saying, that ultimately you will be able to achieve all your wishes and desires, but you're going to have to make or put a lot of effort and it's going to be based on you, how much effort you put and um, that's how you will be able to fulfill your wishes, but Jupiter will certainly be very favorable for you. Now, the same would apply to the field of education. If you're associated in the field of um, education, then again, you can get what you desire. It's very favorable for that. And again, you'll have to put in some effort. Those individuals that are associated in any sort of way in the field of art, education, um, this is uh, going to be a very favorable transit for you. But again, don't forget to make the effort. But understand that your good luck house has also been activated at this time, which is the ninth house. So all your hard work and efforts will definitely be rewarded and luck will be on your side. Uh, those Capricorns that are wishing to travel abroad, especially for higher education, this is a very favorable, uh, favorable time for you. During this time, your own personality and aura will also be quite positive and you will feel very respected by others. 
people will come to you for advice and guidance and you will also be able to give very wise advice to others individuals in the field of sports religion uh, media marketing sales finance and consulting also freelancing work as well as those that are do any writing of any sorts will also do exceptionally well financially also this is a very favorable transit for you you will have uh, opportunities to earn good income but again you must remember that it is up to you to make good effort and put in the hard work this time you may also be drawn towards spirituality and your religion some capricorns may find a spiritual guru and even uh, read about spirituality or religion to learn more about it the only bit of caution uh, for capricorn is that you may have some challenges in relationship with your children you know there can be difference of opinion or if your children are younger then they can have some confusion regarding their education on how to proceed what to do about it now um, if you have older children and they're not married uh, also, it's very possible that they are able to get married during this time. So do your best to manage your relationship with children because at this time the Jupiter transit makes it a little tricky. Prediction for Aquarius. Aquarius, Jupiter transits to your fourth house and it aspects your eighth, tenth, and twelfth houses. For Aquarius, Jupiter rules both the finance houses, that is the second and the eleventh houses. The second house rules uh, finance, family, uh, financial savings, and speech, and as well as food. The 11th house is one of material gains and wish fulfillment. The focus primarily now is on your living environment and career. The benefic impact of Jupiter offers some mental peace, domestic harmony, along with happiness for Aquarius. Now Aquarius is under stress due to the fact that there is a Saturn transiting in the ascendant house. But Jupiter now comes in and relieves some of that mental stress and uh, worries that Aquarius is undergoing. At this time Aquarius may relocate and it could be quite suddenly or it could be due to career related reasons. But it does indicate that Aquarius might be uh, traveling a lot or staying away from the home quite a lot also. Some Aquarius may get into difference of opinion with their mother, so try to uh, not get into that situation and maintain good positive relationships with your mother. As far as financial is concerned, expenses could be high for Aquarius because the 12th house is getting aspected and it could be due to real estate uh, matters or there could be the purchase of a vehicle also during this one year for Aquarius. Um, there could also be travel related expenses because of the fact that Aquarius can be traveling quite a bit. Some Aquarius may also spend on renovating or redecorating their homes or on uh, home domestic related items as far as financial gains is concerned this could be a favorable time for Aquarius now I know I said that the expenses is going to be high but also your income could be high as well so there could be good opportunities for growth and um, earnings now chances of rise in career or with profession are also very possible during this transit and for some Aquarius there could be sudden changes uh, in um, related to career and profession such as job changes and relocation uh, like I said due to your career uh, is also possible now professional changes are almost um, eminent for Aquarius at this time there's a very strong possibility that there's going to be some sort of change uh, in the career or profession for Aquarius during this time there's just too many houses getting activated that relate to that there are also chances of financial gains via unearned sources such as inheritance or insurance matters or even via in-laws. The gains could also be related to real estate or the sale of real estate or from real estate. So financially a favorable transit. Now those uh, individuals that were experiencing sleep issues previously may be able to sleep a little better but you still need to take good care of your health and don't take on unnecessary worries and stress. Instead stay focused on your career and finance, work diligently, put all the effort in 
and this will benefit you greatly also my one guidance that i'm going to give to aquarius is to stay connected to your divine and just try to follow a spiritual path if possible because at this time the luck house is not being activated so luck sort of is not going to support you it's going to be your effort that supports you and that's the only way you're going to get or one of the ways that you're going to get the benefit imp impact of jupiter so stay spiritual if you can and finally prediction for pisces Pisces, Jupiter is transiting in your second house and it will aspect your 7th, 9th and 11th houses from there. For Pisces, Jupiter is their ascendant ruler and also the ruler of their 10th house, which is the career house for them. Pisces, this is a lucky phase in terms of your career. There is the possibility of job changes, new opportunities may come your way, and it is also a positive time in terms of financial growth and success. But the key is to make sure you put in the extra uh, effort and hard work. Otherwise, these favorable results may not be realized. The best influence will be on your marriage and partnerships. Single Pisces, the chance of getting married is very high. And the married Pisces, there will be happiness and harmony in your marriage. Business partnerships will also thrive well and you may see excellent gains in your business. Again, I'm going to stress that your self-effort and hard work are critical, but will definitely get you good results. Those Pisces that are looking to start a new business can do so during this transit, but don't be lazy or procrastinate. Put a lot of hard work into it and you can be well rewarded for your efforts. You will expand your social and professional network and this year you may meet lots of new people and develop lots of new friendships. It is also a year of travel, mostly short distance. Some Pisces may travel for education purposes as well. If you are a student and you want to go out uh, of the city and go somewhere else for education, this is a favorable time for that. Your relationship with your siblings is going to be a very positive and satisfying one. If there were some challenges in your relationship with your siblings previously, they now get resolved. In fact, your siblings could also get married or have children as well if they are at that point in their life. People in the area of medicine, astrology, consulting, finance, law, public speaking, religious speaking, and those people that do any kind of writing or are in the media will do exceptionally well during this time. My guidance for Pisces is that they acquire knowledge or get higher education or even learn new skill sets that, that may help them in their career or simply in their daily life. That will be very beneficial for them in the long run. Even if you're um, a stay-at-home person, you don't have an actual career outside the home, then they can spend some time learning new things. And this also could be very beneficial to them in the long run. Pisces, overall, this transit is a very favorable one for you. Just make sure you stay close to your faith and divine so you continue to stay blessed and lucky. I now come to the end of my video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope everybody has a very favorable and very positive transit of Jupiter in Taurus. Goodbye for now. I will see you on my next video.